Hey manual kids, welcome back to craft time. Today's going to be a little bit different than the last uh, videos I did. I'm going to skip the devotion part because these two crafts today are related to the lessons that Tom Allen has been doing with y'all um, over Zoom. So last week you talked about Paul's conversion and baptism and how Jesus saved Saul from his sins and chose Saul to spread the gospel. And then this Thursday, Tom is going to share with you about Paul's first missionary journey and how the Holy Spirit sent Paul and Barnabas to tell Jews and Gentiles about Jesus. So the first, uh, first craft, which is related to Paul's conversion and baptism, is an origami craft. Now, origami is just a fancy word for paper folding. And just to make it a little more fun, I'm not going to tell you what it's what's what it's going to look like at the end. I'm just going to tell you how to do it and then you'll see. So what you'll need for this, one sheet of paper. It can be colored or it can just be blank like this one. And a pair of scissors. And that's it. So this can be a origami can be a little hard to do if you're just looking at pictures for instructions, so that's why I'm going to do the video for you. I want you to take your sheet of paper and keep it lengthwise like this, the long way up. You're going to take your corner and fold it down until this edge matches. And you can do it on a, on a table. It'll make it easier. The second step, you're going to take that the other corner and you're going to fold it down again in the other direction. So now this side matches as well. And there's a, a triangle at the top, if you do it correctly. Next step is we're gonna fold the whole thing in half. So there will still be that little point at the top. But then this side will be flat like that. Next, you're gonna take half of the paper and you're just gonna fold it, but not all the way over. You're gonna leave about a half inch to where we're gonna create this little uh, little pole or tower in, tower in the middle. You see how I have the tower? I folded this out. Then I'm gonna turn it over and fold the other side back. See, just like that. The next part is the cutting part. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting off these little flaps right here and leaving the pole. So I'm going to cut right along here. Just make sure you try not to cut the pole. You can hold it up to the light if you want and that'll help you see where the pole is so you don't cut it. All right. Now all you have to do is unfold it and you'll see that we made an origami cross. That's awesome. So this is just a reminder of how Jesus saved Saul from his sins. And in the, in the same way, Jesus offers that gift to us. The second craft um, is an old map. So what you'll need for this one is a sheet of paper so you can get a map. That, this one, like this one, is just printed off from the computer. But um, if you want to be more creative with it, you can get a blank sheet of paper and draw your own map. And it can be a treasure map or maybe a map of your room. So you can use um, color pencils, crayons, markers to do that. You'll also need a mug of tea or coffee. You can get an adult to help you with that. The darker, the better. Um, and then get a foam brush or just a regular paintbrush to use with it. Just make sure before you use it that it's cooled off so you don't get burned. And just to help help keep the mess down, um, it's nice to have some newspaper or something underneath your map so that it's less messy. All right. So I'm just going to use a blank sheet of paper, not one with a map on it, just to show you how it's done. You're going to take your map, wad it up tight as you can All right. and then unfold it and 
smooth it out a little bit. So that's the first step. It already looks kind of old, doesn't it? I think I accidentally ripped mine. Okay, and then you take the coffee and tea or tea, and you're gonna use your brush and you're just gonna squish, squish it onto your paper. So it's okay if your paper gets really wet. Um, you can either uh, squish it down like that or you can uh, brush it, but it's easier to squish it. it. It works a little better making it look old. Just make sure you do it over over something like newspaper or wax paper so it doesn't get too messy. And you want to do it all over your sheet of paper. So now you're going to have to wait a little bit. You're going to have to wait till it dries. It doesn't take too long, um, but you don't want to try to mess with it while it's really wet because it might rip. I didn't do my whole sheet of paper, so I'll just show you real quick what mine looks like. It has a lot of coffee grounds on it. You see how it's kind of, it's, it's turning kind of brown, just like an old map. So once it's dry, you can leave it like that. Or if you want to take another one step further to make it look old, you can um, ask an adult to help you to actually burn the edges. Or you could even just do little tears on it. So you see how I actually used a lighter and just carefully burn the edges of it uh, so, so it makes it look all worn out like an old map. And um, you'll see the map I printed out is actually a map of Paul's missionary journeys because that's what this map is uh, uh, wanted to be a reminder of, that Paul was sent by the Holy Spirit and led to tell others about Jesus. And that's such an amazing example for us that God has put us in special places um, just so that we can share Jesus with others. So if you're interested in joining the Zoom lessons that Tom Allen has been doing each week, um, he has been doing that just because we haven't had Sunday school um, for the quarantine. So you feel free to email him, ask him for the link for the Zoom sessions. His email address is T Allen, the letter T, A-L-L-E-N at EmmanuelTuscaloosa.org. Thanks and have a fun time making crafts and learning, learning about Jesus and about telling others um, the good news.